motherfucking yeah. copy. Fuck yeah. your army eyes. They call me Lock. Hi Lock. Chances that you fucking with me, probably not. Probably not. What is going on guys, my name is Trap and welcome to this tutorial. Today I want to show you how to sync the Cinema 4D part to your After Effects part. Um, don't wonder, I'm going to use uh, Sony Vegas, but in my opinion this program is much easier to handle for syncing um, with Cinema 4D. Uh, so, at first what you're going to do, you're just gonna find out the drop of your song. Um, I normally usually put it on 80 frames. Um, what else you should need to uh, do is like uh, go in your render settings of Cinema 4D and put um, the uh, frame rate on 30 or like like me 29.97. Um, as well in your After Effects or Sony Vegas, then it also needs to be here on 29.97 or 30. Whatever you're going to do, do the same. So um, yeah. What now? Uh, at first, how I always start, putting the drop on 80 frames. Um, the good thing about Sony Vegas, you can see here the seconds, but as well the frames, uh, which you can't do in After Effects. Because, like, I don't know if you can, but uh, in my After Effects, like I have CS4, it's pretty old, I think, but um, you might also uh, always use CC, I think. I don't know what you're using. <laughs> but okay, uh, I can see the frames. Um, if I set up my frame rate, so I know at 80 frames that's my drop. So I can also, if in Cinema 4D my frame rate is the same like in my uh, video program, um, I know when here at 80 frames there's the drop in Cinema 4D, there's the drop and on 80 frames as well. So put it there uh, like keyframe, do your camera movement stuff, and yeah, that's it. This is how you quite sync. Um, so, you just need to set up the frame rates, uh, and then just check on what frame is my drop. So, as you can see here in this intro, here's the second drop at 157 frames. So, to do this, uh, I'm getting on 157 frames, put there, uh, no, 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 10 frames in front of it. Like on 147, I'm putting a frame, and then on 157, uh, 57, yeah. I'm going to make my camera movement, something like this maybe. Whatever. Just figure some stuff out. So, what we just did is we synced it to uh, the drop and we also synced it to the second drop. Um, and to make this quite nicer, I have uh, one small tip for you. As you can see, the camera movement is going like pretty slow and at the drop there's nothing, there's not, nothing special. To do it a bit different, you can go on like 30 or 40 frames, make a keyframe in your camera movement, and put it 10 frames in front of your drop. So just drag it there. You can also do this with the F curve, but I don't like this as much as this. So yeah, it's going to be super slow at, at the beginning, and then at the drop it's going to explode. And this is what I pretty much like about Cinema 4D, um, the dynamic stuff. It's like moving with the camera, it's like, yeah, pretty nice. Whatever. So, I hope I could help you with this tutorial. It's like that simple. You just read the frames, and with uh, the same frame rate, you can do quite the same in Cinema 4D. So, um, just remember, set up the same frame rate in both programs, Cinema 4D and After Effects or Sony Vegas, whatever you're using. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next tutorial or intro, and goodbye.